close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice what kind of breathing is comfortable and try to stay with nothing but the breath. If any other thoughts come in, just don't pay any attention to them. And if they do come in and they pull you away, well, just drop them. They're not pulling you, you're holding on to them. You can let go and they're not going to keep pulling you. You let go and you're back here. No matter how many times the mind wanders off like that, you've got to be insistent. No, you've got to come back, got to come back. And make it a good place to come back to. So the breathe in feels comfortable, feels refreshing inside the body. Because the breath energy can be refreshing. There are lots of potentials here in the body that often we don't take advantage of. The breath just comes in, goes out, without much thought to, but what would feel really good as a way of breathing. And if you can get interested in that, that gives you a, a leg up. It makes it easier to stay. But the important thing is that you don't give in to your distractions. You're trying to develop an important skill here, the skill to getting your mind under control. And don't let yourself be easily defeated. You're the one who decides that you're going to stick with it. So stick with it again and again and again. Because you're trying to make a difference here. If the mind is going to just stay with the breath for a few seconds, then go wandering off to something else and something else, and come back to the breath for a few seconds and go off again. Nothing much changes in the mind. You just have one more place to stop by as you wander around. You're trying to make a difference in the mind. And it would be really different if the mind could stay with one thing consistently, with a sense of well-being, a sense of brightness inside. Because then it can see things more clearly. And they can make even a bigger difference in the mind, because it can see when it's going to be hoodwinked by its thoughts, and it can say, no, it's more in control. So here we are, we're trying to make a difference. After all, the Buddha said, we're trying to see something we haven't seen before, realize something we haven't really realized before. That means we have to learn how to do something we haven't done before. Get the mind really still, really consistently under your control, and see what happens. You make it into a different mind. When the mind changes, that means the world you live in is going to change, too. Because as the Buddha said, Manobhamangamantama, all phenomena are preceded by the mind. If you put the mind in good shape, then that will have a ripple effect into the world. And the energy you create as you meditate will become a better energy. There's so much bad energy in the world right now. It would be good if more people realized that they could generate good energy. It's good for themselves and it's good for the people around them. It's in this way that we make a difference, by training the mind in new skills. Training, them in, training the mind in skills where it learns how to stay with one thing consistently. And that way it can learn how to see itself more clearly. When the mind sees itself clearly, then it's going to create a lot less suffering for itself. Because the reason we create suffering is because we don't know what we're doing. Nobody wants suffering, and yet we keep doing things that create suffering. Because we're not really clear on what we're doing and the results of what we're doing. But if you get the mind still, then you can see these things clearly. You can make better choices. As you make a difference in the mind, that makes a difference in the world. So it's all to the good.